Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to increase the likelihood of your email going into the inbox folder and not the spam folder. So the first thing we need to do is log into our plus control panel or our control panel. And we're going to go to our domain that we have created our email accounts for. And we're going to go to mail accounts. And I'm going to log in to my info at rupaldemo.com. So I'm just going to change the password because I do not remember it. And we're going to log in to uh, the webmail. All right, so we're inside the webmail. And if I send an email from here, I want it to go into the inbox folder for if I'm sending to Gmail or I'm sending to, you know, Microsoft Outlook or Out Hotmail or whatever, whoever I'm sending my emails to, I want it to go to the inbox folder, more than likely the spam folder. And when you're on web hosting, a lot of times you'll notice that uh, sometimes when you send an mail it'll go to the spam folder because the only real email providers that are 100 percent trusted are you know uh, zoho you know that's a good email provider out office 365 and google workspaces so if you have a business that is vital on um on email i highly suggest highly suggest using office 365 or Google Workspaces because they are 100% trusted and they go to the inbox almost 100% of the time. However, when you're using hosting email, there is it's it's really hard to improve the, the spam score um, of your email. And if you're using shared hosting or you're on a server with different other people, or even if you have a VPS and you have dedicated hosting, uh, if that IP, your IP address, uh, if there's one bad actor on that IP network, there they will block, there's blacklists that will block the entire IP subnet. So it's it, you could be fine with your dedicated IP address, but they'll block the IP subnet and then it'll go into the spam folder. So there's just some things you can control and some things you can't control, which is why I highly suggest if your email is, if, you, if your business relies on email, you're kind of forced, that's just the, how the industry works now, you're kind of forced to go with Office 365 or Google Workspaces. Um, but, you know, some people can't afford that, it's expensive, and, um, you know, you can get $5 per email at Office 365, uh, so that's the best solution, I think, because uh, you only have to pay five bucks a month, right? And you can set up shared inboxes and have 20, 30 email, shared, shared inbox email accounts under one $5 plan. So I will be making a video about that as well. But this video is how to improve your score, the best your abilities to make it go to the inbox folder using um, regular email through the hosting provider's server. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to mail, uh, mail accounts. And we're gonna go to mail settings and we want to make sure this is checkboxed. This is use DKIM uh, spam protection to sign outgoing email addresses. Uh, so what this does is um, basically it verifies and signs your outgoing email messages, making sure that it is from the domain that you're sending it from. So this is basically just adding a txt record into your dns which if you use root pals name servers let's say you are you're pointing your name servers uh directly to the server or if you're using custom name servers and you're a reseller and you're having your clients point their custom re custom name servers uh to the ip address of the server all you have to do is checkbox this hit apply and it will automatically add that record in your dns However, 
if you're using Cloudflare like I am for this domain, you're going to need to go to the Plesk DNS, which uh, is DNS settings right here. And you'll need to find the TXT record right here. And you'll need to take this record um, and you'll want to put it into Cloudflare. So all you have to do is the domain name, you def default uh, dot underscore domain key, and you add the value um, of the TXT record into Cloudflare and it should work. And it should sign your messages from Cloudflare. If you're using Cloudflare Mail, if you're using Cloudflare and you want to use Mail for Cloudflare, I have another video that you have to watch on how to set it up correctly um, because all these DNS, so since the DNS is controlled by Plesk for this domain, you need to make sure all, um, sorry, I take that back. Since Cloudflare is the DNS provider for this domain, we need all of these records, or not all of them, but most of them, to be in Cloudflare to make everything work properly. So Cloudflare is, you know, a bit more set up, but it's worth it. So now that we've signed, now that we have uh, DKIM enabled and we have our SPF records, this is also another thing that you have to have. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to make sure this exists in Cloudflare or your SPF record is is in your in um the, the spf records are generated automatically for in plesk so this is generated automatically but if you're using cloudflare or a different dns provider you need to make sure you uh have this txt record with the spf uh value right here in your cloudflare so now that we have that done right the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our domain isn't blacklisted so let's grab the IP address. This is the IP address of my domain name. So we're going to go to MX uh, blacklist checker. And we need to make sure that our domain is, or IP address of the server is not blacklisted. Um, sometimes it becomes blacklisted. And there we go. So <laughs> this sucks because there's a UC protect TL3. This is something that hosting providers cannot remove at all, right? We're unable to remove this from the blacklist. And if you go to detail, um, it's going to tell you it's not your fault because uh, it's an entire subnet that's blacklisted. It's not your dedicated IP address. It's an entire subnet that's blacklisted. So... Here we go. So it's saying uh, this is the one you care about. Uh, UCE protect level one and UCE protect level two. Um, it's not listed there. They have three different listing methods. So this is saying level one is not listed. This is uh, increased listing risk because of this one right here. But it's saying the subnet, which is another IP address on this actual subnet right here has been listed so it's warning that you know the subnet could be sending out spam this isn't going to stop you from going like sending emails it's not going to stop you um from going to, into the inbox or the spam folder but it could hurt going into the inbox and this happens randomly typically data centers try to fix this as soon as possible but this just happens it's just part of you know the hosting game and this company wants you to pay monthly um, high costs monthly to be on their whitelist uh, so it, that doesn't happen but um, you know this this one right here shouldn't really affect you that much because it still goes to the inbox folder um, all the time so any other ones you know it depends but it should be fine so if you get this one you're fine but there's actually another service I'm going to show you right now that we can actually use, which is called mail-tester.com to te check our score and how we can improve our email score. So all you have to do is compose a message, send it to this email address, test email. Hi, I am just testing to see my spam score. Oops. 
So I'm going to send the email to the test email. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me an update of my spam score of a rating out of 10. And I need to get as close as I can to that 10 um, to make sure I go to the inbox. And boom, there we go. This is exactly what you need to go to the inbox folder um, of an email, right? So let's actually test it. One minute. So I'm going to see if I can test this right now. So I'm going to compose another message and I'm going to send it to a uh, Gmail that, uh, to see if it goes to the inbox folder. Cause if you can get a 10 out of 10 right here, you will go to the inbox folder almost every single time. Um, sometimes, you know, you might go to the spam folder because Google and Office 365 and all these other email providers have automatic detection systems based on AI now that will send it to the spam folder if you're doing repeated messages uh, or repeated emails. So, but if you're sending unique, unique emails, which are really custom and, you know, they, they aren't the same, then you should most likely go to the inbox folder. But let's send it. Let's send an email to, um, and, uh, let's send an email from here to uh, Gmail or something. All right, so I'm gonna send a test email to a Gmail account. And just to see, this is just a random email account that I have. Uh, so let's test it. Uh, quote update. So I'm just going to send this to the Gmail. My score is a 10 out of 10 and it should go to the inbox and boom, there it did. So I was able to go to the inbox folder without an issue. And that's how, that's how you improve your score. So if you can get a 10 out of 10, that's basically the best. And, um, you know, it'll tell you you're not blacklisted. These are some really good providers that other companies use. Um, so uh, the only thing I could probably improve on is uh, list unscriber header. You don't really need that. So that's why I'm still a 10 out of 10. And your reverse DNS does not match. Uh, so yeah, this, this reverse DNS could probably be fixed. Uh, which I did not fix um, for the server. And typically if you buy hosting through RootPal or you know hosting providers, sometimes the reverse DNS doesn't match, but it should. So contact them to help fix that reverse DNS if you don't have the reverse DNS working. And that'll improve your score uh, even more and you'll have a green checkbox there. But even without that, I'm still a 10 out of 10. So that, that's what you wanna aim for. Um, I think anything above really an eight out of 10 or seven out of 10 is good too. But when we're at the three out of 10, four out of 10, that's when you're going on, when you're going to the spam guaranteed almost every single time. So you want to be at least above a seven or you want to be at a seven out of 10 or above a seven out of 10 to go to the spam, to go to the inbox folder more so often than the spam folder. So, but if e email is vital, to you if it's very something you're looking and need your business to operate um 100 i i recommend getting office 365 or google workspaces or zoho uh, but i've known zoho to even sometimes come up for spam but um less likely than hosting email so Take that into consideration. I will be creating a video on how to integrate Office 365 um, into uh, RootPal or you know set that up or Google Workspaces, how to set that up as well. Um, so yeah, check it out and thank you. Hopefully you can go to the inbox more often and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.